Hello everybody and welcome back. If you didn't get what you saw, it's a blast gate. In my last video I built my dust collection system. If you haven't seen it, uh, you can take a look uh, here. I built it uh, using some science and engineering principle in order to have the most efficient dust collection system. Take a look at it if you haven't seen it. So my point now is that uh, I would like to have uh, all the blast gates to be controlled by remote in order to have a localized spot where I can control all of them. So, first step of design, looking around. I saw on YouTube a nice video from Cosmas Bauer, I guess the pronunciation is right. And uh, he's using a Bowden, which is the cable we use in the bike brakes. And it was very inspirating. So I want to build something like that, but at scale. Because I have eight blast gates. And let me show you what I mean. So this is my shop. The dust collection system is uh, linked to, to the belt sender, the drill station, the miter saw, of course the dust collector, the CNC using this pipe uh, up here, the table saw here, then I have a jointer here and uh, there is a, another connection to the table saw from behind. So I want to have something here and this is actually <laughs> the result of this video in order to control all the blast gates which are hidden underneath the bench. So this is my solution. This one is uh, my backup of all the prototypes I've built in order to get to the result. Okay, this is the first design, which is a pretty classic design. I drew it on Fusion 360, then I carved it on the CNC. Here I used a 12 millimeter pine plywood. Pine plywood is a very cheap material, it's pretty raw, so then I sanded it. And as you can see, the shape is pretty much always the same blast gate we all know. The only difference is that I didn't put a trim inside, but I used uh, this rectangle here in order to separate the two flanges. So also I rounded the borders here because those angles are really not needed, so I cut them. But in the end, it's always the same story. You can open the gate like this and you can close it like this. And that's exactly the issue I had uh, with this first iteration. It's too tight, so it does not roll easily. I need to leave uh, some additional millimeter. So I switched to the second design and for this I used 18 millimeter poplar plywood. Even here there is uh, some measure to correct and if this is the case I always mark the errors directly on, this, uh, on the prototype in order to report the issue and then fix them on Fusion 360. But then I discovered a design issue, that is this one. When I pull the bowden to close or open the gate, this shutter here does not move straight, but it turns in this way, so it goes outside its rail. So I moved to the final version, where I can move the shutter from the center. This way the movement is horizontal, so no issue can raise from that.
just amazing. Now let's talk about the handles and listen to the CNC starting up. This is pure poetry. I went to the woods because I wanted to live deliberately. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life, to put to root all that was not life and not, when I had to come to die, discover that I had not lived. with the music. Okay, now I need to build a case for the levers. I milled these parts on the CNC and now I have to drill a hole for the Bowden cable to pass. Of course I need to repeat the same operation eight times given I have eight levers. And I guess here we are done, and of course here I have to add the music. Okay, last step, fasten the levers, add the blast gates and connect the gates to the levers. But first I wanted to criticize my own design. This blast gate is huge, or at least it seems huge. This is the old gate I had for comparison. Of course the old one has a small diameter, so let's compare my new design with a classic design blast gate with the same diameter. When I open the gate, this piece moves out and then of course it comes back inside the valve. So it might seem that this design is more compact, but Marty, you are not looking four dimensionally. The point here is that uh, this space here must be empty because we need the space to allow the valve gate to open and to close. We may say this is a Schrodinger blast gate. The gate is open and closed at the same time. So my valve here looks bigger, sure, but it's not using more space. Then I have one additional thing I can say. I'm using more material. Now, can I spend 18, cents, uh, 18 additional cents in order to build a blast gate? Uh, well, actually there's no such a right answer to this question. Because I may decide that it works to build something that costs 18 cents, 18 additional cents, or it may not, depending on the situation. And of course, this is me, it may be different in other situations and for other people. But in this situation, I said, yes, I can spend 18 cents uh, for two reasons. The first one is that 18 cents is, of course, uh, a very low amount. And the second reason is because this way, the blast gates is very, very simple. It's just three pieces 
And uh, on my first iteration, I, I used to have uh, seven pieces. One, two, three, four, this piece here, five, this little piece here, six on the other side, and seven. So I have more pieces, and of course I have to mount them, so I can have some uh, misalignments, and that means uh, I will end building something which is not efficient at all. By the way, tell me what you think about this on the comments down below, and in the meanwhile, I'll keep mounting the blast gates. This is the back side of the table saw. Here I have two gates. The first one, the one on the top, is for the table saw. The second one is for the jointer. Here I was testing the saw at different angles uh, in order to see if the piping was long enough. And then I can connect the table saw system to the main dust collection system. In order to connect the single lever to the blast gate, I use a bowden, which is the cable used for the bike brakes. So I bought 50 meters of bowden. Here I drilled a couple of holes to pass the steel cable. And then I can secure the cable with this flugel binder or whatever the name is. And okay, this project is completed. I installed all the handles here, so I have a small control panel I can use to uh, interact with my dust collection. And here I have all the buttons I can use to uh, switch on and off the CNC, the table saw, the dust collector, and the miter saw. And then I have all the handles for the dust collector blast gates. One additional design note, where design means functionality and not uh, nice, is that I don't even need any label because uh, all the handles are in the same order of the machine. So the first one is for the table saw, the second one is for the CNC, the third one is for the mother saw, the fourth one is for the drill press, and the final one is the belt sander. Then I put some more handles here and those allows me to operate the blast gates for the table saw and for the jointer. Here I use the same design principle, so I have three handles, the first one is the table saw, the second one is the jointer, and the third one is this plug here, which I can use to clean the shop. So I really like this build, if you enjoy it as well, please give a thumb up and please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!